Developments in the Ed Berg trial. His defense team saying they will call former Chicago alderman turned FBI informant Danny Solis to the stand next week. And the jury could get the case the week before Christmas. All this as the feds lay out what they found when they raided Burke's office. Let's bring in CBS2 political reporter Chris Ty, who spent the day inside the courtroom. Chris. Hi, Erica. The feds showing the jury evidence that they say proves Burke's aldermanic team created problems for businesses that only they could solve. And in the process, rub elbows and apply pressure to big money clients that could hire Burke's private tax firm. Until today, what the feds unearthed from Ed Burke's office raids five years ago was kept in the dark. 25 FBI agents stormed the 14th Ward Alderman's office, taking with them a trove of documents related to the remodeling of this Burger King at 40th and Pulaski. Not long after the billion dollar franchisee Shokat Danani of Houston took it over, the feds say Burke's team started a dossier on the Danani group, learning they owned hundreds of stores nationwide. The feds allege Burke was trying to land Danani's tax business by helping him with permit problems. For the first time, the feds showing jurors evidence that Burke's team created the roadblocks so they could fix them and then fix the Clafter and Burke tax firm up with a rich new client. In an email from Burke's Lieutenant Pete Andrews to the alderman, he writes, we stopped construction on the site. I recall that you mentioned to them since they are out of Houston, they should think about local legal representation for the zoning matters. A pitch the FBI listened to in real time. And um, we were going to talk about the real estate tax uh, representation, and uh, you're going to have somebody get in touch with me so we can expedite your permits. I'm sorry, Mr. Burke, what was that last part? You were going to have somebody call me uh, so we could help you make sure you get your permits for the remodeling. In the months-long effort to land Danani's work, Burke is heard forgetting how it was he first held up the permit. Why was I able to hold it up? What did they need from me? Um, well, they needed the driveway permits and everything signed off on. Well, I don't remember signing yeah, off on any driveway was, permits. Never... As the project languished, the store's owners lost hundreds of thousands of dollars in sales. And because they felt Burke's team was disorganized, Danani's team, who testified they felt pressure to hire Burke, never did. So while Burke never made a dime on the Danani group, the charge in this case is attempted extortion as the feds lay out the scheme they say shows a deep intent to extort. Live in the newsroom, Chris Ty, CBS 2 News. Joe and Erica. All right, Chris, thank you.